workouts are extremely simple right now. I am thrilled for our guys. They've uh, had a lot of challenges. We've had a lot of challenges, and uh, man, they've stuck with it. And through good times and bad, and my guess is we'll have some smiles moving forward and some tough times moving forward. And what we're going to do is stick together like we've done. But uh, I, I believe this in the deep in my soul is these guys deserve some positive feelings, and uh, this is certainly a positive one. Yeah, I mean, I could tell early on their their game plan was trying to uh, just not let me get the ball, um, you know. And I'll I'll look at the tape see whether I was could be more aggressive. But we were we were rocking on offense, so I didn't I didn't feel feel the need to. But um, second half, I knew I was gonna I was gonna have to gonna have to put up a performance to you know maintain maintain our lead and win this game. And so I just I came out and you know knew I was taking the next time I take the ball, just shooting it and went in and you know just went from there. I was just playing. I mean, I kind of lost myself in the game. I feel like our whole team kind of just went out there and lost themselves in the game. Um, I mean, and we work for this every day. It's kind of, I mean, it's great to get a win like that, but I don't, I don't think it comes as a surprise really either. I think we're always working hard for moments like these, and we got it done tonight. Coach, you accomplished something special today. had four points. How were you so successful there? Well, I think the assistant coaches put together a really, uh, really good game plan. Um, the, the truth is, Look, most teams, some might be able to, but most teams can't take away everything. You can't take away the inside and take away the threes and block shots and get a bunch of steals. And it, it's hard to do everything. And so we had a, uh, a plan of, of how we're going to try and protect the paint, try and protect inside. And uh, honestly, one of the byproducts of that plan ended up being 35 three-point attempts for them. And uh, the plan did not include 14 made threes for them. Um, but our guys were resilient enough to go about it. But I thought we really uh, did a nice job. Uh, most of the game, keeping the ball out of the paint. Um, and then when we got in there at times, we did a pretty nice job. But look, they're big time, they have big time players. Um, and on the inside, if they get paint touches, there's nobody in the country that's going to stop those guys. And so you got to find a way, try and find a way uh, to limit the, the touches inside. All right, so Coach, we just had a gentleman here, and Rain, he said that uh, he wished he would have got the ball inside more, but he made eight threes. So how difficult was it to? Stop him, and then also, how impressive is this? This is number fourteen in the country. Well, if Spencer ever makes eight threes in a game, he does not need to apologize to me or think he needs to throw it inside. He can keep firing it up. Um, look, he's a he's a big time player. Had a great game. Um, some of them maybe have been some some slow rotations on our part, but many of them um, were contested. And um, hats off to him. I mean, that's that's impressive. Uh, this is a big game for us, and in a lot of different ways, and we'll enjoy that tonight and uh, understand uh, the reasons why it's big. But at the end of the day, the message of the team, it's a big game because it was today's game and it was a step forward for us. We've talked all year about making progress, all the cliches you want to throw out there, one day at a time, keep moving forward, whatever it is. But we've lived those things, and we're trying to get better. And um, even in some of our losses, um, no, definitely in some of our losses, I could leave and say, do you know what? We did take a step forward in this way or this way. And I'm well aware winning the winning part matters. Um, but this year, we've really kind of taken the approach of we're trying to trend upward for the entire year. And today, obviously, was a big step forward. Michael, late in the first half, they went on a 13 0 run. You guys responded right before halftime. You talked about being able to absorb that low and respond. Yeah, I think um, our whole team had a lot of poise. I mean, we've been in moments before throughout the season when. We've taken punches from teams. They went on a run, um, but we always kept our composure. And I think building, like throughout the season, we've been doing that. You get ready for those moments as um, you experience them. So I think, I mean, the guys did a great job. No one turned on each other. No one started yelling. Everyone just got closer together. We huddled up. We talked everything out, our rotations, and we just kept communicating and got it done. There was a big sequence uh, <coughs> where Harrison got a steal and then Spencer came in and hit a corner three. Just talk about the, the momentum you guys felt after. Go for it, FC. Yeah, man. Come uh, on. I mean, you, you could feel the energy in the gym. I mean, the whole – everyone's moods kind of change. It kind of lifts your team up. I mean, everyone gets more confidence on the offensive side and the defensive side. Um, rotations seem to get a little faster. Just the energy's flowing, uh, adrenaline's flowing, and then obviously you have the crowd playing into it, which is always helpful. Um, but, yeah, I think it always, you know, helps pick you up if you're down or keeps you even higher from where you are. So I, that the momentum is definitely huge for us. Sorry if you guys didn't have to answer something like this, but I was just curious if, if y'all, any of you three, felt 
draw the parallel to the, the two times he played in the race last weekend, and he, he played you know, pretty well. You know, the tournament, and I think he dominated the you know, Semper and the one race one at the end. Mm-hmm. Anything different, to what, or it's the same about the way he, he, he handled it? Uh, the difference was kind of the mindset. I mean, coach came in the locker room before the game even started, knew in, at the end this was going to be a close game. And, you know, it was the close game the last two times we played. The difference was is we, you know, when it got close, we, we knew we, wouldn't gonna, we were going to keep punching. We were going to hold on the ball, you know, slow our possessions down. Now we were going to go after him and, and take this game. And that's what we did. All right. So a former Cardinal said that he doesn't care who wins because he was good at four sports. Okay. <laughs> but what about you guys? You guys going to watch the game together or you have any favorites? Game Chiefs are playing. Kansas City, come on. Come on. <laughs> we'll get another one. Uh, I, have no, I have no preference. Um, I will uh, cheer for the Chiefs. I'm a 49ers guy, but my uh, Spencer here and my wife and my kids are, uh, are diehards, and so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll help uh, pull for the Chiefs. Anything else from you guys? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.